Hi guys, my name is Susil and today we are going to see Cisco DNA Center Lab. In this topic, we'll see the agendas like understand topology, configure DNAC through CLI, change pre-configured gateway DNS and NTP configuration on our Cisco DNAC. So let's understand topology here. In this topology, you can see this is our management network 150.1.7.0. And we have a DNAC IP as a 115 from the particular subnet. And here we have a DNS as a 200, NTP server as a 231, and we have 201 as my management PC. So let's get into our RDP so that I can access my LAF and we'll try reachability to all these devices before we make changes through CLI. So I've taken the RDP session here and you can see this is my virtual DNAC which I have configured on my ESXi server. Now I'll, I'll try to take SSH access. So uh, before I take a SSH access, we'll check a reachability first. So I'll ping 150.1.7.115 to my DNAC. Yes, it's a reachable. I'll check a reachability to DNS it's a reachable i'll check a reachability to my gateway dot one and the ntp 231 so as i can see all the devices are reachable i have to make all this reachable because once you make a changes on the cli these all devices will be required to make a changes it will check a reachability to all the devices before it saves the configuration so let me take a SSH access. Now on the DNAC to take a SSH report number will be different. So we'll take 150.1.7.115 and the port number will be 2222 and let's click on open. And you can see here as it's asking for login, I'll give a username as a maglev and password as I have pre-configured. So it's like sysc0123 underscore and you can see I have logged in inside the CLI. Now here, since we have landed to dollar sign, so I have to use a sudo command to give a privilege for any changes. So I'll say sudo maglev uh, hyphen config space update and press enter. And you can see it will take you to the option wherein you can change the IP. So this is my host IP. I don't want to change my host IP. After that, this is my subnet mask. This is your gateway. So if you want to change the gateway, you can change the gateway as a dot two or whatever the gateway IP or you're having in a network. So I'm having dot one itself. My DNS is not the same. So my DNS address is 150.1.7. Uh, it's 200 so i'll give a 200 ip i don't have to give any static route because it belongs to same subnet so keep on pressing tab so once you press the tab you can see the options are changing so i'll click on next press enter now it says you to proceed i'll click on proceed and it will take some time wherein it will validate the configuration that i have provided in the configuration See, uh, while working with the DNAC, it obviously takes some time. So you have to be patient. You have to keep patience while working with the CLI of your DNAC. So here it will check the reachability of all those devices that I currently gave, like I gave a uh, gateway IP or I gave a DNS address. So it will check a reachability. It will validate the configuration. You can see here it is validating the configuration for the host in our networking so it's saying to wait this takes around four or five minutes to validate and then it will come back to the another configuration it will ask you for the other input and all so in this position you just have to wait and you have to see when you get the other option so till i get the other options uh i'll just minimize or i'll uh, sorry i'll just pause the video for some time and once i get the other option then again i'll resume the video now we can see we have got the another option over here so i don't have to configure any https proxy because i don't require it 
so if you need any https proxy or any of these required configurations then you can proceed with that currently i don't need so i'll just move to next over here okay so it is asking for a valid proxy uh, if we have anything written here then you can simply remove it like it was written something here so it wasn't allowing me to press next so i removed all the options over here and then simply press tab and go to next option press next it is asking you for an virtual ip so you can configure virtual ip or you can say next so here it is asking for the password so i'll give a password for the gui and the cli so i'll give as a same password which i had configured earlier like sysc 0123 underscore if you want to change the password this is the place from where you can change the password of your dnac so i would say sysc 0123 underscore and simply press tab to go for a next option say next and this is the option where it looks for the ntp so whatever your ntp ip address you have like in my case it's 231 so i'll just give an 231 as an ip address and say next now this is the place where it will be validating your ntp server now without uh, having a reachability to ntp server it won't allow you to change the ip so it will definitely see the reachability in a previous starting part itself i had shown you guys checking a reachability you can see i have a reachability to my ntp server so same way right now this dnac is trying to validate the configuration and once it validates the configuration it is able to reach this particular dns server then only it will allow to change the entire configuration that i have done on the dnac through cli so we have to wait for some uh, we have to wait for some time okay we don't have any other options as i told you it takes a little bit time to change the configuration so it will take some time as you can see it has checked the validity uh, or it has checked the reachability right again press tab go to proceed and this is the final configuration that it is doing now configuring ntp and the other changes that we have done and this takes little more time to save the configuration so you have to be patient you know and you can see this is generating now you can see the changes are happening so this takes little time it will take around three four minutes time to change as per the configuration as per your cpu and ram that you have given you can see the changes are happening and this takes little time so we'll keep on watching we'll wait and we'll see till it updates the credentials you can see these changes are happening <clears throat> So it is applying all the new configuration, deleting the previous configurations and all. Update node. So once you are done, then it should give successfully done. We'll wait and we'll see. So it takes little time, guys you have to be patient checking the status of all the configurations dna center is little heavier than any other devices so to make the changes and all it definitely takes time so you have to wait for some time So in between, I'll pause the video for a few minutes. And once the change is occurs, after that, I'll resume the video and show you the output. And as you can see, at the last, it will show you configuration succeeded. So all the changes has been applied. The configuration wizard has completed successfully. OK, so this is the output of your CLI configuration, guys. Hope you enjoyed video. See you guys in the next video of our DNAC.
till then thank you take take care